Okay, so moving along, we're going to start talking about the fluid layout. Now, now, switching between a fluid and a fixed layout is really easy to do in Bootstrap. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. If this is the first video you're watching, you might want to check out my intro to Bootstrap and uh, my last video, which is about a fixed layout. And uh, a lot of this will make much more sense. Uh, okay, now, to switch to a fluid grid, it's really easy. You just have to have dash fluid after your container, and you're also going to have to put it after each of your rows. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And then the main the main difference in a fluid and fixed is that uh, your columns are going to stretch across with percentages rather than uh, fixed pixels. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to save this as fluid.html. Okay, switch back over to our browser. And we're going to all right. So, as you can see, it's pretty much the same. Uh, each of your columns now are stretching 100% except for this one right here so that means I probably forgot to add the dash fluid to that row and indeed I did save that switch back to the browser and refresh there we go uh, so like I said it's pretty much the same however you might notice one slight difference our two span three columns are not stretched across our span six column. And that's because when you're nesting in a fluid system, it's slightly different than a fixed. And if we go back to our fixed, you'll see that they uh, they take up the entire column. And that's because they equal their parent. When we head back to our fluid, uh, we actually need these to equal up to 12 because uh, fluid grids are based off percentages. So we have a couple of options. We could add two more divs, each with a span of three, or we can just offset that by six. Hit save, switch back to our browser and refresh. And there we go. Now we have one more option and it'll make this look a lot better rather than offsetting it by six we can change each of these to three um, excuse me six and what that will do is make both of these divs uh, stretch 100 percent across uh, its parent because six plus six is 12. let's change the css for um Span six that are children of span six, so that we can notice a difference. We'll give it a background of black. And we'll hit save. Switch back to our browser and refresh. And as you can see, um, now each element is nicely fit uh, within its parent, and that's because uh, they equal up to twelve. Of course, it maintains its uh, responsive nature. We'll get down to about tablet size. Well, that's about right. All the way down to mobile. And we have our layout uh, nicely fit. So that pretty much wraps up scaffolding. Uh, however, I did leave out one section, and that is the responsive utility cases. Now, I'm not going to get into that right now, but I will get into it in my next video and give you a quick preview of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be utilizing a lot of the um, CSS classes and JavaScript components that Bootstraps offers, and we're going to build this uh, neat little layout. And um, cool thing about this is 
we won't have to write one line of CSS or JavaScript. A lot of this stuff, like the slider, will be functional, uh, drop down menus, tabable content, and um, even a cool modal window. So, thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for the next video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Thanks.